Morning world. Welcome to Thursday, 3rd of February. Just doing my morning rings. I've been giving the sheep a little bit of bread just to start climbing up a bit, a little bit. Um, it's one of those things where there's a yin and a yang to that. Um, it tames the ewes, which makes them a lot easier to handle. It also attracts Roger. No, I still haven't got rid of him yet. I've got to arrange a day to take him off to market. Um, still undecided on the rest of the sheep. Abby is keen that I don't get rid of them. We're still in negotiation. Nothing's been decided. But, um, yeah, we'll see. If she wants to be involved with them, that's fine. But um, I don't really want them. So check the cattle, they're okay. Check the sheep, they're okay. Um, I haven't seen the lambs over at the other farm today, but Dad will go and see them this morning. Um, so that's all the boxes ticked there. I was asked yesterday if we had any frog spawn in our pond yet. Well, I don't know. I looked the other day and there was something that might have been frog spawn in the middle of it, but it was right in the middle. Not where you'd expect it. So I'm just watching out for that blinking ram. Mm. Uh, so we'll go and have a look. And I think while I'm there, I'm gonna put some twigs and sticks in the water and stuff that will, if they do, do lay eggs in there, it'll just give them a bit of protection. I don't think he's sussed out him at you yet. Any second now, I'm waiting for a stampede noise behind me. Well, you know what happens next, don't you? Not sure what's been going on down here. Lumps of wool about here. We got a dog out here or something. I did notice one of my girls had a bit of a limp on the other day, but I just thought that was a bit of foot rot. <laughs> they would not normally jump across here. Hmm. That's a tad suspicious. Oh, I might have to investigate that. Um, there's a few folks that walk their dogs around and they don't all keep them on on leads. It might just be that I've got one of my ewes that's rubbing and casting a bit of wool, but this time of year, they don't get itchy yet. A bit more out there. It looks like I've got an itchy sheep. It won't be a maggot, wrong time of year for maggots. So why do I have an itchy sheep? And why are there bits down there? I'm gonna have to get them in and have a look at them. Right, okay, well, we're down to look at tadpoles. Oh no, no, frog spawn. We're down to look at frog spawn. So we'll have a look at that first and see if we've got any, any activity. Make sure nothing's following me. So I did come down here with the flail. This was the first job I did when I came down and uh, put the flail on, just knocked the edges back a little bit. It was starting to get quite overgrown in here. So and although this is an area I've put aside for wildlife, I'll take you with me. If I can pull you off. We're a matron, come on. Um, I 
Where was I? Yeah, it is a, an area I've put aside for the wildlife, but I still want a bit of get in here, which means I still need to do some maintenance. I mean, we've had suggestions of folks saying, hey, oh, put some pigs in here or goats or something like that, but I think that would just be a bit too damaging. Okay, let's see what we can see. Can't see any. I mean, it is still a fairly early days for frog spawn. Not impossible, but I won't be terribly upset if I don't find any. But I would be quite happy if I do. Plenty of water beetles in there. So if there's predators in there, there's obviously food in there. No. No frog spawn. Not yet. Not yet. Right. So I'm going to put a couple of sticks around that log over there. Literally, like I said, just to give anything that does, if, well, if any do decide to spawn in there, it just gives a bit of protection from uh, water birds as much as anything else. So if we had a moorhen or a coot or something like that in here, something's been shedding a few feathers here. Bit of a preening job, I reckon. Do an awful lot, but it'll help a bit. Just gives them something to sort of stick to. I reckon that's probably a bit more than a pruning or a preening job there. I'd say Mr. Sparrowhawk had something to do that. Blackbird, I reckon. The woods of blackbird. Okay, no frog spawn, so nothing to report yet. I will come down and look at it uh, periodically just to see what's around. No deer today. No deer today. Yeah, we'll come back down in a week and see what it's like. Nice to see the hazel out. Right. Can we find a flower? Thing is, my eyes are like, oh, there we go. So, can you see that little tiny red dot there? That is um, the flower on the hazel. It is tidy. So all these gentlemen seed bearing bits and the lady flower on the hazel and that is it. It really is tiny. If you didn't know it was there, you you well you wouldn't know it was there, would you? Yeah, yeah that's a tree thing for the day that find the hazel flower. There's a bunch of jays shouting over there. Why have some of our prettiest birds got to be some of the most destructive? I was just a pretty bird, but they'll kill baby birds, take eggs, anything, they'll just take it. So think of a pink magpie with a short tail. That's pretty much what a jay is. I was actually surprised how much of this they've eaten. But they've kind of gone off it a bit now. Some of it they can't reach. Um, some of it they can, I can't be bothered. They're just finishing off the bale in there. But I think what I'm going to do is just throw the rest of this over there. What they don't eat, they'll sleep on. And what they sleep on, I can take out and chuck in the mucky because this will actually rot down better 
with a bit of M-U-C-K in it. Have it there. Still good. So, no point in walking on it if I ain't got to. Yeah. Right, I've had a phone call from um, Pixons and Yate to let me know that the belt's in. So, we're going to take a trip to Yate now, pick up the belt. I can then con continue or complete the repair on the hedge trimmer, maybe get some of that done this afternoon. Might call in and see the tree guys on the way. They're just down the road taking down an ash tree. So, uh, yeah, still plenty to do. Is there going to be room for me to call in and see the guys? Bearing in mind I'm in the van, not my Land Rover, so I do not have four-wheel drive. But that's where they are, just there. Looks like they're intending to drop what's left of that stick. I don't particularly need one myself, because it's one of those okay. things where you need to sort of do a couple of them, really. But. Um, but yeah, if you if you want me to show you how to press down a pheasant, I will. But it really is. Go on YouTube. It's on there. Literally, just split them down the middle of the breast, pull the skin off, take the breasts off, wrap them in bacon, bit of salt and pepper if you feel like it, um, in the oven. Jobs are good. Okay. All right. Okay, okay. And I don't need the rest of the carcass back at the farm. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. No, I don't. I, prom no, I well, promise. I promise you, I don't. You... I'm really quiet, so I, 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 you, you'll never know. Yeah, right. You'll let you in a game. My place about the dogs. Let me know. <coughs> or about coughing. Yeah. All right. Okay, darling. I'll see you later. Bye, right, then. I'll see you later. Bye, right, bye. Bye, bye. Gosh, yeah, has got a hacking cough. Uh, Someone um, bagged some pheasants and left them at the work for her and she basically ran me up and said, did I want a pheasant or two? And I said, I can't really be bothered. And she's going, oh, I didn't know what to do with them. And I just said that she just, with a pheasant, there's not actually a lot of meat on a pheasant. Um, just split them to the breastbone, skin them off the sides, take the breasts off, wrap them with a bit of um, fatty bacon. And then you could just cook them however you fancy cooking them. Stick them in a casserole, stick them in a baking tray, um, he was bloke in the head, you wonder what was going on there. Sorry, I got put right off then. I only saw his red earphones. Um, so yeah, um, cooked pheasants. But um, I don't like them hung too long as well. So a lot of people like them gamey. I'm not very fond of gamey. What are you doing? Oh no, I got stuck in the other there. We want to learn once, I suppose. Not everybody had the benefit of me of learning to drive um, very, very sensibly around fields when I was a very young teenager. Very sensibly. I learned my highway code and everything in the middle of a field. So I reckon I was doing 35. Didn't really, wasn't really looking at my speed. I was just looking where I was going, following the car in front. And it wasn't until I was almost on top of the speed camera, which I still hadn't seen, that the nice guy in the white van was going, was flashing me, going, and I going, yeah. The thing is, so many people flash me, I, I know a few. It didn't click for a second what was going on until the speed camera van was about there. So, I reckon about 35. We'll see. We'll see. I'll let you know if I get there in the post. You know, because they are short of money. They could probably do with an extra 50 quid or 150 quid off me, so. Right then, we have a second belt. What should we do? Should we go and fix the, fix the machine? Or go and see Grandad have a cup of coffee? What do you reckon? Coffee. Say coffee. What's that?
coffee here. Come on. There you go. Right, that's it. Father visited, coffee drunk. Midday, time to go home. Oh, I'll, I'll Sorry, go. Mate. Yep. I hope that they're not yours, and I hope that I haven't caused you any inconvenience. Oh, better, better to check it. Yeah. Yeah, better safe than sorry. Now, I'll, I'll shoot back there now and have a look, and just make sure okay. they're not mine. Thanks, Mike. All right. Thanks. Cheers, then. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. So that was a phone call from Mike Perry the Butcher, which you would have met the other day on uh, Funky Farmers Make It Meat Monday when we went out some pork, a bit of Perry's pork. Apparently, there are some sheep out. Um, and the question is, are they mine? Now, I didn't look at the sheep, I just come past, I didn't look at the sheep because Dad's already been out there this morning, there was no point in me going again, but and my sheep should not be able to get out, we are pretty much ring-fenced unless somebody left open a gate, they can't get out but anyhow, I have to go and check, so it's back to the farm and go and have a walk Well, you see some sheep. Yeah. Not all of them, though. One, two, three, four, five. Five out here. But there is an explanation as to why. That gate was shut. A bit of string that was holding it open was broken. So it's a chance that the other 20 are out here. I hope they are. <laughs> 